a lot of my kind of visual ideas came in, and this is probably true for a lot of people, um, came in the doodles that I would do while the professor was lecturing. It, you know, might have been just sort of idle escapism, but it was also that that was the way that I was translating what people were telling me, and that that is what kind of initiated the sort of visual thinking, I suppose. I had a visual response to the to words. I am kind of a voraci voracious researcher, maybe an obsessive too, because when I find an interest, then I try to delve into it as deeply as possible and then follow the tendrils wherever they lead out. As my work develops, I mean, as I'm actually working on it, um, I often return to my notes um, that I've taken from all these different books to see if I can find something that I can respond to that will help me figure out, you know, what should be as I, as I get into deeper levels of resolution in my drawings, what should be here. It's a way for me to also get outside of myself as opposed to just sort of expressing my idiosyncrasies um, and kind of spurting out whatever comes to me at the moment. I, I like to return to the text to help me um, see my own work in a new way or come up with new ideas. When I'd watch my grandfather build something as a child, I, would, it was, I had a giddy response when I saw the thing he was cutting and then nailing together. When I discover something in text, uh, in, in reading, I had that same kind of physical response, you know, and I, I love that process. And I don't know, it's just research is an, is an amazing thing. It's just an open-ended dumping yourself into all of this uh, writing that all of these people have done. And, you know, you never know what you're going to find. You just kind of follow one thing next, you know, after the other.